75 an hour. And if you're employed until September 4th, you'll also qualify for a $500 retention bonus as well. All right, with that in mind, let's turn now to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is in the Weather Center, and Tony, not quite beach weather just yet. <laughs> well, yeah, the water temperature, for instance, Kayla, uh, about 49 degrees. Yeah, yeah a little not, chilly. A little chilly, <laughs> but you know, each week it does inch up a little bit. Uh, speaking of the beaches, you know, the, the sky conditions is very location dependent. So outside our weather window now, we're looking at Lincoln. Uh, dark clouds, a couple of isolated showers, but staying on that beach theme, let me take you to Easton's Beach uh, down in Newport and sunshine. There you go. It's it's cool. It's dry. <laughs> the air temperatures in the 50s, but as mentioned, that water is still cold. And then you switch over to, uh, you know, especially in our northern suburbs, uh, there's more in the way of, uh, of cloud cover. And we take a look at Lincoln one more time. And some of these clouds producing uh, a few isolated showers. There's nothing really heavy. We're not seeing any thunderstorms. This is more nuisance than anything else. And I do expect this to be melting away this evening. Most areas now are generally in the 50s, mid to upper 50s, though cooler than Bedford. Providence, you were 60 just like 10 minutes ago. Now it's at 59. Coventry, you had a shower a little while ago. It's cooled you off down to 50. We're going to drop into the 40s this evening and during the overnight. So any isolated showers that we have right now, winding down dry this evening. In fact, over the next several hours, despite like a little quick interruption, I wouldn't really cancel anything. Uh, showers passing through again, not for the entire day on Thursday. We'll talk about that in more detail. Ouch. You know, we're feeling... Um, more pessimistic uh, about the weekend, though. I mean, we've been hinting over the last couple of days of some potential wet weather for both Saturday and Sunday. So here's the situation. The reason for a couple of these isolated showers this afternoon, a weather disturbance actually way up in southeastern Canada, but uh, it is producing these little disturbances that swing through each afternoon, producing some extra clouds and a couple of spot showers in certain areas. So when we take this into the future, this uh, shower activity is winding down. Most of the night is quiet. Here we are tomorrow morning. Speckles of green indicating a couple isolated showers tomorrow afternoon. A few more speckles of green, nothing widespread, but a few passing showers. Jump ahead to Friday afternoon. Overall looking good. It's mild. It's dry. It's uh, brighter. And you see this precipitation across the mid-Atlantic. And here's the approach. And this is by Saturday morning. Should last the better part of Saturday. Let me show you the forecast in more detail. Uh, anything, any isolated showers are pretty much winding down this evening. Clouds increasing overnight. We're mostly cloudy tomorrow morning. This is around 8 a.m. in the 40s. You start to see little passing areas, little blips of green coming through. This is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. These are passing showers. Doesn't last long in any given location. Right on through this time tomorrow evening and then drying out later tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. So more clouds than sun in the morning. A few isolated showers. Temperatures are around 51 by 11 a.m. I would keep the umbrella on standby. We're not talking it raining every hour of the afternoon on Thursday. This, these are just passing showers and temperatures in the mid 50s. Friday is a nicer day. Take advantage of it. Yeah, we're looking unsettled and cool uh, over the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Kim and Kayla uh, showers both days. Temperatures generally 55 to 60. All right, Tony, thank you.